Let's talk about API keys. If you've ever signed up for an API, whether it's OpenAI, Stripe, Google Maps, you've definitely been handed one of these. But what exactly is an API key and why do you need it? At its simplest, an API key is a unique identifier used to authenticate a client that's making a request to a, an API. So think of it like a personal access token. When you attach it to your request, you're saying, hello, it's me, please let me in. The server will then check the key, verify that you have permission, and if everything looks good, it'll process your request. Without that key, most APIs will just reject your call or return a 401 unauthorized error like this. While API keys can be passed in the request as a query parameter or in a request header, it's not secure, especially when you're collaborating, sharing environments, or using public workspaces. A much better approach, especially if you're using Postman, is to store them in the Postman vault. This keeps your credentials encrypted, scopes to your workspace, and out of your request history or environment variables. With Vault, you can reference secrets safely without ever exposing the raw key in a request or collection. And this is important because API keys are static and often have broad access. So if someone gets a hold of your API key, they could make requests as you, pulling data, changing configurations, or even running up usage costs on your account. That's why it's crucial to treat them like any other secret. Don't hard code them into your front end code. Don't push them to version control and don't share them in plain text. With the right precautions, API keys are a really powerful and simple way to authenticate your applications. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.